one of the essential features of the life is the power of reproduction both the females and the males have a combination of external and internal organ that serves as the means of reproduction so today's videos we are going to discuss about reproductive system reproductive phase is the period of time when she has the chance of get pregnant and give birth the reproductive period in the females last from the start of puberty that means 9 to 14 years to the menopause means the cessation of menstruation around 45 to 55 years of age okay all right let's learn more about female reproductive system The female external genital organs are collectively known as vulva. The vulva is the outer part of female genitals. The vulva includes the opening of vestibule, the labia majora, labia minora and the clitoris. The external genital organs that include first one is mons pubis, labia minora, labia minora and the clitoris. vestibules of vagina and bulb of vestibule so let's look detail about each one first one is mons pubis this is a rounded eminence present in front of the pubic symphysis so it is formed by the accumulation of subcutaneous fat next about labia majora a labia majora consists of a thick fold of skin which cover the other external reproductive organs next about labia minora the labia minora are comparatively thin and delicate fold of hairless skin that are present inside the labia majora and cover the opening of vaginal and urethra next about clitoris clitoris a little erectile component that is found near to the junction of labia minora and the anterior of vulva Next I am going to talk about the internal female genital organ that include uterus, ovaries, fallopian tube and vagina. First one vagina. The vagina is a fibromuscular canal that runs from the vulva to the uterus and it is about 10 cm long. Now just we can look about uterus. The uterus is commonly called as womb and it is a hollow pear shaped organ that is hold the developing fetus. The uterus is about 30 to 40 grams in weight and measures about 7 to 8 cm long, 5 to 7 cm wide and 2 to 3 cm thick in the non pregnant healthy woman. Then now I am going to tell about the parts of uterus that include body and cervix. Then the structure of uterus the wall of the body of the uterus is consist of three layers from inside to outside first is endometrium endometrium is the innermost muscular lining which shows cyclic changes myometrium it is the middle and the thickest layer it consists of compactly arranged smooth muscles bundle next about perimetrium it is a peritoneal covering of the anterior and the posterior surface of the uterus which is the part of both ligaments of the uterus let's check about ovary the ovaries are a small oval shaped gland that is located either side of the uterus the ovaries produce eggs and the hormones each ovary is about 4 cm long 2 cm wide and 1 cm thickness so what are the functions functions are produ- production of the oocytes means the female gametes and production of hormones Next we can look about fallopian tube. The fallopian tube also known as uterine tube are the pair of small tubes that are joined to the top of the uterus. It is measured about 10 cm in length. Next the parts. From the lateral to the medial and the parts are infundibulum, ampulla, isthmus and intramural. All right this all are about female reproductive organs i hope it is clear for everyone now we can move to the male reproductive organs male external genital organs that include penis scrotum testis epididymis and spermatic cord first of all i'm going to talk about penis the penis is made up of a root or base and a body or shaft The urethra passes through the male reproductive organ that is known as penis. Urine and the semen both are flow through the male urethra. 
Next, I am going to talk about scrotum. A pendulous skin sac called scrotum is situated below and behind the penis. It houses the testis, epididymis and the lower somatic cord segments. The scrotal sac keeps the testicles in the proper temperature for the spermatogenesis. The scrotum elongated and become flaccid in the summer and while it is shrinks and become rounder in the winter. Testis the scrotum a pendulous sac of the skin beneath the penis and contain the testes it is the male gonad the hormone testosterone which is secreted by the testes together with spermatozoa in charge is giving male secondary sex characteristic appearance each testis is an oval shape and it remains suspended by the spermatic cord in the scrotum. Testis has two poles that is upper and the lower, two borders anterior and the posterior and two surface that is medial and lateral. Weight is 10 to 15 grams, length is 5 cm, thickness is 2.5 cm. Next about epididymis or reservoir of spermatozoa. The epididymis is highly folded tube embedded in the connective tissues forming a coma shaped structures on the posterior aspect of the testis. Okay, spermatic cord. The spermatic cord is the cord like structure in the males formed by the vast difference vessels, the nerves and the lymphatics. Next, I am going to talk about male internal genital organs that in include ductus, different seminal vesicle and the prostate. First of all, we can check about what is ductus difference. The ductus difference is also known as vas difference and it is a muscular tube that runs from the lower end of the epididymis to the base of prostate where it is connected to the duct of seminal vesicles from the ejaculatory duct. It is about 45 cm of length. At the lateral region of the scrotum, it can be felt as a cord-like structure. Next, I am going to talk about the seminal vesicle. There are two sac like structures situated behind the bladder. Each vesicle is about 5 cm in length and its ducts are joined to the duct of ductus difference from the ejaculatory duct. The seminal vesicle creates an alkaline fluid that is high in fructose and it gives sperm energy. Next, we can discuss about prostate. A walnut-shaped gland called prostate is situated between the bladder and the penis just in front of the rectum. From the bladder to the penis, the urethra passes through prostate's middle. Due to the presence of dense fibromuscular stroma, a prostate has a hard consistency. Structures passing through the prostate are prostatic urethra, prostatic utricle and ejaculatory duct. I think it is clear for everyone. So far we are discussed about male and female reproductive organs. Now we can go to the mammary gland or breast. The breast is the gland with the lobes organized around the nipple that is made up of mammary glands accompanying skin and the connective tissues. The lobules of each lobe are further split. Between the lobes and the lobules there is fat and the ligament that is called corpus ligaments. There ligaments connected to the skin muscles underneath the breast and it is supporting it. So today we are discuss about the male reproductive organs and female reproductive organs and the secondary reproductive organ. I hope it is clear for everyone. If you have any doubts write it in the comment box. If you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable the bell notification so you won't miss any single video.